Halloween night, a time for costumes, candy, and carefree fun. But for some, it transforms into a chilling nightmare that haunts them forever. Join us as we dive into three eerie tales that will make you question the safety of your own home and the intentions of those who roam the night. These spine-tingling true stories will remind you that sometimes the scariest monsters aren't found in haunted houses, but in the shadows of our own neighborhoods. Story 1. The Uninvited Guest As a 32-year-old adult, Halloween had lost its thrill, evolving into a simple ritual of handing out candy while watching horror films. But in 2022, that routine was about to take a dark turn. I spent my afternoon decorating the house, the faint scent of autumn leaves wafting through the air as I prepared for the trick-or-treaters. By three o'clock, I had cracked open the door, eager to hear the laughter of children, but the street remained unnervingly silent. Hours slipped by without a single visitor. The excitement I once felt dwindling into disappointment. At 6.30, my doorbell finally rang, jolting me from my lethargy. I opened the door to find a figure in a white mask, eyes wide and unblinking, peering inside. The eerie costume concealed everything but those bloodshot eyes, and an unsettling feeling crept into my chest. Take a handful, I said, extending the bowl of candy toward this peculiar visitor. As they reached into the bowl, I noticed they were alone, a stark contrast to the usual groups of giggling children. A cold shiver ran down my spine as I studied them further. This was no ordinary trick-or-treater. The figure stood taller than any child I had seen that night, the dark circles under their eyes indicating something unsettling. When they left, I dismissed the encounter, convincing myself it was just a tall kid in a strange costume. But my instinct screamed that something was wrong. Moments later, a sound outside my door made my heart race as I approached my breath hitched when I found the same masked figure standing fully inside my home. Panic surged through me. Can I help you? I managed to stammer, but they simply stared at me with an intensity that felt like they were peering into my very soul. Then, without a word, they retreated from my home, glancing back as they walked away. A knot formed in my stomach as I realized I had just encountered someone whose intentions were anything but innocent. I rushed to my phone to call the police, anxiety pulsing through my veins. But as I prepared to report the stranger, footsteps echoed on my porch once more. Peering through the peephole, dread washed over me as I spotted a man in his forties, appearing to be searching for a lost child. Hello, I'm looking for my kid. Have you seen them? He called, his voice sending shivers down my spine. His bloodshot eyes mirrored those of the masked figure, and my instinct screamed for me to retreat. I backed away quietly, keeping the door locked tight. When the police arrived, they quickly located the white mask discarded in a bush, a clear sign that something sinister had transpired. Unfortunately, the man remained elusive, slipping away into the Halloween night. As I lay in bed, the reality settled in. The night had transformed from festive to frightening, and I couldn't shake the feeling that the masked stranger had been lurking far too close. Story 2. The Abandoned Tunnel Flashback to my 8th grade Halloween, a time when my friends and I felt too old for trick-or-treating. We decided to break tradition and seek adventure instead. My best friend Tyler and I had heard whispers about an abandoned tunnel or mine nestled in the woods just outside of town. With no plans for the evening, we jumped on our bikes, the crisp fall air invigorating our spirits as we pedaled toward the unknown. The streets were alive with Halloween festivities, but as we approached the woods, the atmosphere grew eerily quiet. We parked our bikes and stumbled upon a footpath, overgrown and muddy. With Tyler's flashlight illuminating our path, we ventured deeper into the darkness. The thrill of exploration filled us with a false sense of bravery, even as shadows danced menacingly around us. After what felt like an eternity, we arrived at the tunnel's entrance, a gaping black hole in the side of a hill. Dust swirled in the beam of Tyler's light, and an unsettling feeling crept over me as I glanced back toward the woods. For a brief moment, I thought I saw movement, but when we scanned the area, 
it was nothing but darkness. Ignoring my apprehension, we stepped into the tunnel, the air thick with the smell of damp earth and decay. As we walked further in, whispers echoed through the cavern, chilling us to the bone. I clutched Tyler's arm, fear prickling at the back of my neck. The whispers grew louder, swirling around us like a sinister fog. In a panic, we turned to leave but froze when we spotted a figure standing just outside the tunnel. An unknown man silhouetted against the trees, watching us with an unsettling calm. Without a word, we bolted back toward the entrance, our hearts racing as we desperately sought escape. The whispers followed us, taunting us, growing louder with each frantic step. Just as we reached the light of the moon, the man began to move toward us, blocking our only exit. The adrenaline surged through my veins as we darted into the trees, fear propelling us forward. We finally reached safety, breathless and terrified. What had we stumbled into? It was clear that the man had been waiting for us, perhaps to trap us in the darkness of the tunnel. The thought chilled me to the core. We made our way back to town in silence, forever haunted by the memory of that Halloween night when curiosity nearly cost us everything. Story 3. The Late Night Walk. Fast forward to my sophomore year at university. Halloween weekend had arrived, and my roommate Kylie insisted I join her for a party at a friend's house. I was reluctant but eventually agreed, donning a haphazard ghost costume from the local spirit store. After a night of laughter and games, I felt drained by the time midnight rolled around. Kylie, tipsy and ready to stay, encouraged me to stay as well, but I opted to head back to our dorm. Stepping outside, I was immediately enveloped in the cold night air. The once vibrant house faded behind me, leaving only the dark, deserted road ahead. I flicked on my phone's flashlight, illuminating the pathway. The streetlights were sporadic, casting long shadows that danced ominously in the night. As I walked, I noticed a car parked on the side of the road. Each time I glanced back, it seemed to inch closer, though I never consciously saw it move. My unease grew, the fog thickened, obscuring my surroundings. Suddenly, a car engine roared to life behind me. I turned to see headlights piercing through the mist, but they were eerily dimmed, almost as if the driver was trying to hide their presence. Where are you headed? It's late to be out here alone, a man yelled from the window, his patchy beard framing a twisted smile that sent chills down my spine. I quickened my pace, feeling the weight of his gaze burning into my back. I can give you a lift, he persisted, matching my stride with his car. I felt trapped, torn between my instincts to refuse and the urge to flee. I'm fine, really, I called back, my voice shaky. But as I glanced over my shoulder, the man leaned closer, his smile widening in a way that felt predatory. Panic surged within me, and I broke into a sprint, my heart pounding in my chest. The world around me blurred as I raced away, the sounds of my footsteps drowned out by the thumping of my heart. I darted into the nearest street, desperately searching for any sign of life. The fog wrapped around me like a suffocating blanket, but I pressed on, driven by sheer instinct to survive. Finally, I spotted a group of revelers down the road, their laughter cutting through the eerie silence. I rushed toward them, heart still racing, thankful to be among friends once more. Halloween night had turned into a nightmare, reminding me that the real monsters sometimes lurk in the shadows, hidden in plain sight. As we conclude these chilling tales, it's clear that Halloween, while a time for fun and celebration, can also unearth the darkness that lies just beneath the surface. Whether it's an uninvited guest, a sinister encounter in the woods, or the unknown lurking behind a smile, remember to keep your guard up. The true horror of Halloween is not just in the costumes or decorations, but in the reality that some encounters can leave a lasting scar. Stay safe, stay alert, and always trust your instincts, because you never know what might be lurking in the shadows this Halloween night.